Hi and welcome to the fifth video of the Clarity PPM Getting Started series. I am Katherine Ellis, a product manager with Clarity PPM. In our previous videos, we saw how you can use custom investments to create a strategic plan and then use roadmaps to present it to the executive team. We also saw how you can quickly evaluate and approve ideas that fit the strategy and reject unwanted ideas in Clarity PPM. In this video, you will learn how you can create and manage projects in Clarity PPM so you can respond to change quickly and deliver projects successfully. These projects can be linked and synchronized to the strategy roadmap created for the executive team so they get updates on how the strategy is implemented. Most of our users use the Project Tiles page to create a project in Clarity PPM. However, you can also use the plus icon on the projects page. Finally, you can convert an idea that has been approved to a project. Let's create a new project from the Project Tiles page. Most of our customers have already created templates to help save time, effort, and enforce consistency across projects and businesses. You can create templates to capture the standard task and role assignments that you want duplicated in future projects of the same type. Use a project template to copy the contents of the template into each new project. Let's select the major project template and enter the project name to create the project. You can now see various modules that are associated with the project. The modules that you see are based on the blueprint associated with your template. The project blueprint also determines the various visuals that appear on a project tile. Let's take a quick look at the various modules associated with this project. Let's start with the details module. We typically begin by entering the start and end date of the project. We can also ensure the project is active and it is open for time entry. If a project is not open for time entry, resources will not be able to submit actual time against the tasks in the project. Next, let's explore the staff module. Project managers and resource managers use the staff grid to allocate resources and roles to projects. Let's replace the architect role with a resource that is available to work on the project. Because Art is committed to the project, let's update the booking status to hard. Now that we have allocated a resource to the project, let's review the tasks assigned to these resources. The default tasks you see in the task module are based on the template you selected. These tasks were also assigned to various roles in the template. When you replace the role with a resource, the resource was automatically assigned to the relevant tasks. The grid layout helps you analyze project tasks quickly by using the familiar Excel-inspired grid. The board layout helps you view project tasks as cards, which you can arrange with drag-and-drop precision between columns. You can use the timeline layout to view and manage tasks in a hierarchical timeline so that you can see and manage multiple sub-level tasks and their relationship. Let's create a new task. Let's also provide additional details, such as the start and finish date. Let's also drop a note to the architect informing him about the task. If you don't want to go into each task and update assignment details, you can use the Assignments module to assign tasks to resources. Let's now explore the Risk, Issues, and Changes module for projects. These modules are used to identify and mitigate challenges that could derail the project. Let's add a new risk to the project and inform the architect to review it and create a mitigation plan.
The last module we should review is the status module. It helps project managers report project status on a periodic basis. These reports can be shared with various stakeholders. Let's update the default report and add risks to it. Let's enter the status update and some key accomplishments by the team over the past couple of weeks. We can now preview and publish the report to save it in a PDF format. Clarity PPM gives you market-leading project management capabilities that are effective for traditional and hybrid environments. Please review our documentation to learn more about advanced capabilities, such as integration with Microsoft Project and Open Workbench. I am sure you now understand how you can quickly, effectively manage projects in Clarity PPM. Thank you for watching this video on getting started with project management. In the next video, I will explain how you can find individuals with the right availability to staff investments in Clarity PPM. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.